What's good, Ravens fans? Tyler Jones here with you on the Ravens Rundown. Happy to have you with us. On today's show, we have some roster updates for you on your Baltimore Ravens on the 53-man roster, the injury front, the practice squad, and everything in between. We will get to all of that in just one second. Before we do, though, one of the most exciting games of the year for the Ravens is this weekend as they take on the Buffalo Bills. So let's go ahead and set the tone for the rest of the week. And here's what I want you to do. If you want to beat the Buffalo Bills, then go ahead and type F the Bills in the chat. Let's get rowdy. Let's stir the pot a bit and get ready for the game this weekend. Type F the Bills in the chat if you want to see a Baltimore victory this weekend. We begin today on the injury front. Let's start with offensive lineman Patrick McCary. His ankle sprain injury, the extent of it, has been revealed. According to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, here's the situation as it stands right now. McCary suffered a low ankle sprain Sunday versus the Patriots, according to uh, Fowler's source. The status depends on recovery, but he avoided major damage or a high ankle sprain. McCary has 14 starts since last season, and he signed a three-year $15.4 million extension late last season. So that update from Fowler, we don't necessarily know a timeline of return, but what we do know based on that update from Fowler is that things could be a lot worse than what they are for McCary in this situation. That it appears that with the extent of this injury that it's not that bad and his return will be sooner rather than later. So with that, more on the situation of where the Ravens go from here on the offensive line. Before we do, though, let's send some positive vibes to Patrick McCary. Show him some love as he's fighting this injury right now. Hopefully he gets back on the football field soon. Type 65 to show McCary some love in the comments section. You're about to get an ad break. While the ad's playing, take advantage of it and show some love for Patrick McCary. Type 65 in the comments section below. So the next question then becomes, when is Ronnie Stanley coming back? If Patrick McCary is out, we know Juwan James is gone for the rest of the season. So what about Ronnie Stanley and all this? The Ravens' offensive line is a bit shorthanded, right? And Patrick McCary is just filling in a spot until Ronnie Stanley could come back. And the situation as it stands right now, if Patrick McCary can't go, then, and Ronnie Stanley can't go either, then Daniel Falalele would then slide over from the backup right tackle spot to take over and start at left tackle next week. And he had to play some of that position last week on the fly with the injury to McCary and did fairly well, quite frankly, in that spot duty against New England last week. So this is a makeshift situation. It has not been ideal what they've had to go through with this offensive line but the Ravens are making it work. And the biggest solution of all, you hope that McCary's okay. Daniel Falalele could have to play. That's a possibility. But your number one solution is getting Ronnie Stanley, your all-pro left tackle, back on the field as soon as possible. Hopefully it's this weekend. That remains to be seen. Today's show is presented by BetUS. BetUS is the exclusive sportsbook partner of Chat Sports and the Ravens Rundown, and they are offering a great deal just for Ravens Rundown viewers. If you use the promo code CHAT125, they'll give you a 125% deposit bonus. Put $100 down, you get $125 to spend for free at chatsports.com slash bet. At checkout, use CHAT125 when you are playing. Here is the bets that you can make on the Bills-Ravens game this weekend. The Bills are favored by three. Over-under, pretty high. Expecting a high-scoring game between two of the best young quarterbacks in football with Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. Over-under at 51-and-a-half. I got to tell you, that's very intriguing. Both those bets there. Can the Ravens win as an underdog? 
Is the over-under going to hit? Place your bets now, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125. And once you get your bets placed, let me know in the comments section. Predict the score of the Ravens-Bills game this Sunday. What are you betting on? How is this all going to work out? Let me know in the comments section if you think the Ravens are going to win and what the score will be this Sunday for the Ravens-Bills game. So let's tell you more about Daniel Falalele, who could potentially be stepping in at that left tackle spot for the Ravens right now with the situation of Patrick McCarry as well as Ronnie Stanley. And Falalele was a fourth-round selection out of Minnesota, and last year in the Big Ten Conference was a first-teamer. And he's a big dude. In fact, the heaviest player in the entire NFL. That that was not a misread there, folks. He, he's 384 pounds. I mean, that's a lot of pizza. That's a lot of steak. That's a lot of ice cream, cookies, muscle milk. I mean, all of that. 384-pound behemoth, Daniel Falalele, potentially sliding at the left tackle spot. Played good last week. We'll see if he has his name called upon how he will do. So, with what you know about Falalele and how he played against New England, stepping up and filling the void pretty well, do you trust him to start at left tackle? If we don't see Ronnie Stanley, if we don't see Patrick McCary out there, and Daniel Falalele has to step in and start left tackle, do you trust him to get the job done? If you do, type Y for yes. If not, type in for no. Let me know in the comments section if you trust Daniel Falalele to start at left tackle. Y for yes, in for no. We are covering this team each and every day here on the channel with the latest Baltimore Ravens news and rumors, breaking news, and game previews and post-game recaps, everything in between. It's all in one place right here on the Ravens Rundown. You ain't alive if you're not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Turn on notifications and help us get to 8,000 subscribers here on the channel. Let's go over some more roster updates. We begin at the cornerback position. The Ravens have cut Daryl Worley, and they also made six other roster moves within this last week. Let's tell you about the practice squad first. And a couple names that are now on the practice squad include former Bronco outside linebacker Jeremiah Atochu, uh, as well as offensive guard Zach Johnson, and then T.J. Carey at corner, as well as Makai Polk, ultimately ended up getting ousted from the practice squad. Makai Polk played really well in the preseason, was uh, competing with Shamar Bridges there, but they've decided to move on from him for now in one of those practice squad roles, the undrafted player from Mississippi State there. Meanwhile, on the 53-man roster, to update things, as you know, Jason Pierre-Paul, Officially joined the roster this week. Brendan Copeland, a few days ago, joined the 53-man roster. He had a pretty decent debut against uh, New England over the weekend. Uh, he had a sack in Sunday's win against the Patriots. And, of course, Daryl Worley ultimately getting cut. He's out. And Brendan Copeland has an interesting story. This is a guy, folks, that is easy to root for. I mean, we're all just sitting here saying to ourselves, let's go Brandon, right? I mean, what he was able to do, a, a journeyman football player, right? Previously played for Atlanta, New England, the Jets, Detroit. And he is a very smart dude. He teaches financial literacy, Life 101 at the University of Penn. And he won the Allen Page Community Award back in 2020 from the NFL Players Association. And not only does he teach financial literacy, folks, he lives it too. Copeland says that 90% of his NFL income he does not spend. He puts away because he knows football will be over someday. So how about that? Really cool stuff from Brandon Copeland. Great to see him in action last week playing pretty well, and we'll certainly be rooting him on and hope that he's successful. And uh, with that, if you're rooting for Brandon Copeland, which is hard not to. I don't see why you want to be rooting for Brandon Copeland. Great story, great guy. If you're rooting for him, show him some love and type 49 in the comments section. Appreciate you joining us 
on today's show. We're with you each and every day here on the channel and also on social media as well. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tyler Jones Live, and I'll see you next time right here on the Ravens Rundown. Have a great day.